I'm Davey. I'm Misty. DM Watts. Unscripted. Unedited. Unapologetic. Let's get it. What's going on, everybody? I am Davey. I'm Misty. And you guys, welcome to another episode of DM Watts Podcast. If you were watching that, I had to get the lipstick off. I kissed my wife. She got on the lipstick. But I always anyway, have on my lipstick. She does, but. I and then I regret it, it when I take off my mask. There's a spirit all over my face. Yeah, it's all good. But let's go ahead and get this out the way. OpenSea.io slash DM Watts uh, for our NFTs. And be on the lookout because we're going to be on Crypto.com also with our NFTs. Yep. Oh, I mean, Crypto.com. Okay. Just waiting on the approval. And so DMWattsPodcast.com. Uh, make sure you guys catch us on the other streaming services too. Doge, AMC, Sheba, and of course, Saitama gonna go ahead and say this stuff you guys may have noticed that sheba has been going up i was about to say sheba yeah sheba's been going sheba. up it's been going up so uh, what we got to say hey look we're not financial advisors that's a given but sheba has been going up you guys maybe something for you guys to take a look at doge has been going up too sheba and, is running yeah and we i just read not sure if it's true but i just read uh, somewhere that robin hood is planning on putting sheba on to robin hood in february that's what I just read, meaning I am not saying it is facts. I just read it. I hope everybody paid attention to the second part of that sentence. I read it somewhere. So. Uh, <clears throat> I got it. You got it? Okay. Because you read it. Yeah, because I uh, read uh, it. Uh, read it. Because uh, we look at Reddit a uh, lot. So, uh, but anyway, uh, no, and say, Tama, um, say the mask, is st- they're still working on it. I still believe in the project. We are still uh, say the mask believers. Yeah, I believe in the project. Still, I just still wish believe- I could. Yeah, yeah, we still can't log on just yet, but it's okay. Uh, we still believe we that time. it's we got time, but we still believe like, look, you've been waiting this long. Wait a little bit more. Keep in mind, when something's great, there are going to be plenty of forces trying to prevent it from doing this thing. Like that, I did. I said that. Him's okay, me and him. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. So, and but they never succeed in the end. So, in other words, say the mask will be coming soon. It'll it be will. coming soon. So. Without further ado, wait, it is, but I have you do your spiel. I'm sorry, I'm got, sorry, baby. Go ahead. What do you get? Well, I've got phone so- saga part. Oh, Lord. Yeah, please go ahead with part duh, trois. Part trois. Oh, trois. Okay. Yeah, I already, no, I already did do oh, okay. it. Okay. Phone saga. What you got? So, you know, we got the wrong phones. We couldn't do anything. We're like, do not port our phone numbers over till we get the right phones. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you know it? While I'm in the middle of a conversation, they decide to go ahead and port the phones over. Yep. So we had no phones. Yep. And it got worse, didn't it? Because she lost her phone in the middle of a conversation. And then... Uh, As we were <clears throat> on hold and talking to the the place to get everything taken care of, she goes, you know, where's this place at? And we're like, it's, it's five minutes down the road. Yeah. We're She's not going like, to say who the phone yeah. company is. She goes, you but- know what? I'll stay on with you guys so that you can walk in and I can explain it to them what's happening. Cool. Green lights the whole way. Pull into the parking lot. They cut off his phone. Yep. Then they cut off my phone. And I said, well, ain't this something? So we go into this phone company and we are not, let me tell you, we ready to kick ass and take names. They give us some shit on it. We're like, look. I don't even think uh, I waited for you uh, to get out of the truck. I was uh, just uh, like, like nope, nope, I'm going. And we went in there like, we ain't paying y'all a dime, first of all, for a SIM card. So this is what happened is, well, we give them to you for free. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, yeah. Well, like we said. We'll just sit over we'll, here then. We'll be over here and wait. <laughs> we ain't planned. So, so, yeah. still have my old phone. Yep. Uh, we've ordered some new phones uh, that are coming uh, in. I've got our Note 20s coming. So the, I'm glad you're excited. I'm so excited. Far. I'm excited. Well, they got more space in them, so I'm pretty excited yeah. about that. You know, they apparently got more space. Anyways, so. we're still on a phone saga, and we yep. got to go to the dentist, and yep. we missed a couple of days because just, yep. you know, things happen, and phones happen, and mm-hmm. internet happens, and yep. things yep. happen. Things happen. What can we say? Things happen. So, But that was our phone saga part trois. So hopefully, trois. we ain't got another one coming up. However... We do got to say, hey, I got. I know you guys probably noticed that, you know, we weren't here for two days. Well, once again, things happen. You know what I mean? It's, keep in mind, it's a Monday through Thursday podcast. We do it as much as we can. And when does life happen? Monday through Friday. Yeah. yeah. But life happens. That's what is what happens. You yeah. Know I mean? And so, so sometimes I mean, we can, sometimes we can't. Appointments, emergencies. We All have a large family. Yep. So things just Things just, just happen. happen. So, so moving on. On to the fishbowl. On to the fishbowl. We're here. Uh, oh. Do relationship gurus help or hinder getting 
or keeping relationships. This is hysterical. And the reason why is because I have been waiting for this to come up for, I don't know, six months. Thank you, okay. actual King Smith. He's the <laughs> one that gave us that to put in the fishbowl topic. Mm-hmm. I knew we would start getting to mm-hmm. what people have asked us yep, to put in. in. There. there it is. So yeah. thanks, and that, thank you, for the that. actual King Smith. You guys make sure you check him out. He does great uh, crypto. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> There's a lot of great good things. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of good things with crypto and show tutorials showing people how to get certain cryptos. Where did it go? It's right here. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of good things with showing people how to get on yeah, crypto, he's and he's an bringing back his chat with chats with dad. So he's an all around great guy, uh, is what I can say. He's all around just good guy. But you guys make sure you check out the actual King Smith. So, do relationship gur- gurus help or hinder getting or keeping a relationship? Oh, I think that's the best. Both. I think go ahead. I have a few do. things to say. Well, because I follow one of them on um, Facebook. Okay. Uh, Derek Jackson, I think is his name. Because that's who I was going to talk about. Yeah. Go ahead. And um, I have followed him or known of him for years, mm-hmm. uh, a long time. And I have to say that right now he's in a period or at least the last year and a half where he's just, he's more engaging. And I do like him because he does like comment back. To people so he asks more of like questions hey ladies hey men you mm-hmm. know be honest this is a safe space he doesn't like people dogging and he asks relationship questions like you know you know he's he's loyal but only makes forty thousand and will take care of you and the kids you yeah. know and cook yeah. you dinner and clean and he's loyal or you know do you want someone that makes two hundred and fifty thousand and you get what you get yeah you know he asks yeah. good questions and <laughs> But I, I think I think back in the day when he used to give advice, it yeah. did help because it was about empowerment, yeah, red flags, knowing what you're looking for. So if you're single, mm-hmm. yeah, well, I <clears throat> exactly the dark side of relationship gurus. Uh, the, the thing about relationship gurus is I think they can help and hinder. Uh, yeah. Helping the fact that I sometimes they have some really good advice. Like this guy has some good advice. Mm-hmm. However that you guys can remember he got caught up in his own scandal and uh you know and unfortunately though it came out i mean not unfortunately but i think everybody knows what i mean it came out well after yeah. like him and his wife, wife had, had reconciled, it, and, then reconciled through, yeah. and then it, then it came out mainstream yeah. yep. so they and, had to relive that all over mm-hmm. again in the public eye mm-hmm. so i can say this and then everybody was talking about his wife because when they did their little commentary about she it she her. seemed yeah she was herself but everybody's like, she looks like she's just broken. No, no, she looks like that she was just starting to heal from it. And then here we go, starting uh, all over like again. She looks like a woman that didn't want to be up there because yeah. her relationship has healed. Yeah. And she has moved on. Now that's we gotta what go, she looks yeah. like. And now we got to go through this on. all over again. So this is just the, the dark side of when it comes to relationship gurus. You out there giving relationship advice and you got all these people, you know what I'm saying, following you. And then listening to your relationship advice, then next thing you know, a scandal comes out about yeah. you and yours. And that's about that you and, your you, know, relationship. you and your relationship. Like, wait a minute, you had all this advice. You know what I mean? Like, how is your relationship in shambles? How are you so you've been out there, you you just did a thing on hey, make sure you committed to each other. Yeah. Yeah, you've been out there cheating on your on your spouse. Like, how are you uh, you know, fit to that's, give me advice? That's why I don't want to be a guru. Yeah, I mean, anything. that's what I'm saying. When it comes down, so look. Maybe of talking. Look, I'm gonna tell, but the, but the I here's the thing. When it comes to the guru stuff, it's not that I disagree. It's just that I I agree when they give they give sound advice. What I disagree sure. with is when they have problems in their own marriage. People be like, ha, you got all these problems in your marriage. Yeah, see, I'm human. Well, and that and, and there you go. People forget. Yeah, people, people forget. Are human. Just because they're great for giving all this advice, don't mean their marriage is perfect. But why does that discount them? That means yeah. they've actually been through it. So wouldn't that make you listen to them exactly. more? Exactly. Maybe this is what they learned from it. But this is one of those things that me and you have talked about before. Like, you know, people in the profession are the worst ones. Sure. You know what I'm saying? The worst offenders, like doctors. Yeah. There are some doctors that have the worst health out there. Yeah, construction. That they'll never go to work on their own. Yeah, construction. Yeah. yeah. All the yeah, dentists yeah, yeah. don't work on their own. They don't want teeth. Their teeth to get worked on. Like, I mean, you know what I mean? So same thing with this though. But I do understand. It's like, no, I mean, heck, I want to say Steve Harvey had a, had a thing. Yeah, say. Steve Harvey had a thing like with his ex was dogging him about, you know, how he used to be and so on. And, but Steve Harvey gives a lot of relationship advice too. 
And then, you know, to me, I'd be like, well, you know, but didn't he learn from that experience? And well, that's and, why yeah, he's exactly. at the point where he can give advice like that. And I'm sorry, but I'd rather someone give me advice has been through the war mm -hmm. than someone that's never been in the war. 100%. How can you give me a relationship advice and you single? Yeah. I don't understand. Just because you read some books, you know what I'm saying? Written by or a PhD scholar. This is like, no. I mean, I'm not saying, I'm not saying anything bad about education. No, you have to have no, an no. education. But, but if you ain't doing it, you can't. You can't have a PhD in something that you ain't you ain't even experienced yourself, or you can't give advice on something that you ain't experienced. Sure, you ain't went through on your own. Now, granted, this which is why we have a. I mean, case in point, I had a hard time with our, with with having finding the right therapist. Mm -hmm. I can't go see a therapy about a therapist about PTSD, and this person has never even been in the military themselves, or has never or had any experience. No absolute affiliation. No experience. Yeah, right. Affiliation with the military in any aspect. Yeah. And that's where you're just like, all right, look, man, I don't, I, I look, this, this ain't working. You know what I mean? And I did the same thing with the therapist I see mm -hmm. because I needed someone that had that military affiliation, but knew what it was like to what I would be going through as a caregiver. Yeah. You know, and so that it, it would be understood because they know Davy's background. Yeah. So I needed someone that was on that same, and I feel the same way about relationship gurus. Right. Like if you're 20, yeah, and in your first marriage, I don't want to hear from you. I don't know. You are experiencing stuff. You are just now starting to experience. Yeah. A lot of the things that we've experienced yeah. already. Now, keep in mind, relationship gurus are not to be confused with therapists. You see what sure. I'm saying? They're oh, not. Yeah, yeah, no, they're no, no, no. Not to be confused with therapists or marriage counselors. That's totally different. Right. We're talking about them, them YouTube stars or everybody to be on primetime TV, Dr. Phil's, giving, you know what I mean? That's my that's how I feel about it. Giving giving the Dr. Phil advice, giving even the Steve Harvey advice. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, you know, you you can they're not 100 percent accurate every time. Well, yeah. It, they're not because sometimes you gotta go with your gut, go with what your gut tell you. You're gonna get advice from everybody. And that's the thing. If you're not, uh, how do I put this? Hmm. If you're not secure in who you are, like you can't put all of your, well, you know, I read his book. And so he said, I got to do X, Y, Z. But if that's not who you are, yeah. you've got to yeah. take that advice and tailor it to you. Mm -hmm. um, and you can dissect that and know, you know, where you might've messed up, but yeah. it has to be about what you feel and what you think. Um, yeah. And don't think that if you go A to Z by their rules, mm -hmm. that it's going to work. Yeah, no, exactly. Cause, cause they're not you. And I, uh, that's, that's, that's why, you know, that with that question, we can say without a doubt, it's both. It is both. It's, it's both. I mean, I don't, I don't think they more so hindered the relationship. I mean, they can, because take a look at it. They take a look can. at this. What about those, those people who strongly live by the relationship advice that they get? So like where you in a, a conversation with your spouse or a significant other, and they're talking about what, well, and Steve Harvey was saying this today. Do you think that I'm trying to hear about that? Why well, me and you in? Well, and that's what I'm, you know so what I'm it used to be called the Oprah effect. Oh yeah. Go ahead. And women would sit there, you know, back in the day mm -hmm. uh, and watch, you know, Oprah on relationships and all this. And then the men would come home or vice versa. And, and well, Oprah said, well, Oprah said, yeah. well, you're going out with your buddies. Is there something I need to know? Yeah. Or, you know, you wear cologne now. Oh, Is there something God. I should be worried about? Or now all of a sudden you're working out. <laughs> you see what I mean? That's for my health. <laughs> that's, that's, there's that. But that's <laughs> the thing. Like, that's where it can hinder because, mm -hmm. you know, they can sit there and go, look, if your man's going out, you know, every weekend and doing X, Y, Z, then he's cheating. Yeah, you know, sometimes he's got be, a second job. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe he's trying to build up to something. To or get you. maybe he's like volunteering. Or she. <laughs> or she so or she, you really got to tailor, you've got to tailor that to your relationship mm -hmm. and your partner. Um, yeah. And, and then you can't just come out and accuse someone of cheating. Right. You got to have evidence. Here's the other way that it can hinder. If there's an episode of, because most of these relationship gurus, not most of them, a lot of them, they'll have people on their show and they may be going through the same thing that you're going through right now unfortunately what what is here's what i really hate when it comes to that 
when you see somebody going through the same thing you're going through now, however the the, the excuse however me, it ended the advice that they've given yeah, them, yeah, yeah, that is automatically that's what should that's work for you. That's what you should do. That's, that's yep, and that's one hundred percent incorrect. Incorrect. Doesn't work that way. Huh? Doesn't work that, Doesn't way. Work that way because that now just because that worked for them on the show, y'all there y'all are different people. Yeah. You know what I mean? And now you're like, well, look, uh, well, let's try this. Nope. Next thing you know, your entire relationship is ruined and you're trying to figure out why. No, everybody knows why. You know what I mean? You you shouldn't have been listening to those folks. You know what I mean? But there's a flip side of that, right? They may give some advice that really helps. Well, and that's why I was was going there with that too. You know, there might be something in there that it's like, hey, you need to, you know, say they say to take a, a minute breath or really examine the situation. I mean, there is sometimes that it is good advice, especially with the, he's not that into you. Like there are some women out there that need to understand. Nope. <laughs> he ain't the one. <laughs> nope. Yeah, you ain't the one. If he keeps doing that, nope. That's not, nope. Now you're just tolerating it. So there is, you know, times that they actually do give good advice, but again, depends on the relationship and the mm-hmm. person and, and the people. Yeah. Case yeah. And yeah. what's actually happening. Yep. And, 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 some things you just got to think about, you know what I mean? Uh, I, I think there's nothing wrong for seeking advice. No. You know, there's, there's nothing wrong with seeking advice. No. There's nothing wrong with trying to, you know, work on your relationship, you know, or work on your marriage yeah. and things like this. But I can tell you right now, um, we're not relationship gurus, but we nope. can tell you right now what has, excuse me, is a proven tactic. Whether you're a relationship guru, a therapist, or a marriage counselor, or anything like that, a proven tactic. What we have found that has worked for everybody, especially us, keep everybody the hell out of your business. Yep. That is the number one thing that will ruin. I don't talk about him. And I don't talk about her. And when I say I don't talk about him, I don't mean when people call and I'm talking to my family or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hey, how's Davey? Oh, he's good. Or, hey, is Davey doing okay? Yeah, we had, you know, he had a, a bit of a whatever. But when I mean I don't talk about him, I mean about yes. us meaning she ain't finna be talking to nobody saying you know what he you did the other day and yeah. he did this and you know you he always know. doing this you shouldn't be doing you, those things you will never know no. if same we thing. had words with each other same thing with me and mine me and my brother are like this me and my brother we are really really they really really, are really, are really, really really close really, we really, talk really, really dang near every day they're like twins one thing that we will never talk about is what is bugging us about each other's spouse nope it will never be if and i ask how he is doing she good man you know what i'm saying she it's good. so cool to hear because like even if i'm not around or i'm not paying attention i can still hear them like well let, let me tell you about what mine did yeah right and usually that's followed with she said or she did and this yeah. is a genuine well mine cooked me dinner <laughs> well mine went and went and fought for me against this person well mine yeah. it's all praise on yeah, it's, me it's typical, and and her end and that's that's praise and that's it's praise. it's amazing to hear two men praise their spouses right like that. And so, so and that's what i do for him and that's too. what i do for her and so if you can't if people can't respect. understand if people can't understand you know um why that 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 is it's like look that's the whole thing yeah. find what works for y'all you know what I'm saying? Dude, I, I cannot, not to sound like a PSA in every relationship counselor out there, but communication is key. It really is. It really is key. And when you are communicating, whatever's wrong, it's between y'all, man. Yeah, and woman. <laughs> it's between y'all. Yeah. You can't bring all these people into your business. That is probably the one, number one ruiner of relationships or oh, let yeah. or let them other people run in putting them bugs in your ear yeah because your friends don't like yep. them or your right. ex this or your family that Mm-mm. and then that starts it's that earworm mm-hmm. and it starts messing with your brain and you're like oh well maybe but if you didn't tell them to begin, begin with, with you could sort it yep. out on your own sort it out on your own that's what it boils it's down being to being an adult that's too. what it boils down to now we have to touch on something else that we we saw uh, the relationship guru. Now, I'm glad this came up because we saw something this morning, and me and you were talking about a good, you know, about a good 30 minutes about it. Um, one of that guy, what's his name? Derek Jackson. Yeah, he had put up a thing and said, "Hey, ladies, affection in public." Oh, remember that? Like he was like, "Hey, if you're a man, like if you're I man, make sure we're saying his name right." Because remember when we did the whole stuff? Yeah, that's right. We were talking thing. about something totally different, yeah. but but 
okay, this guy, he was like, ladies, or, you know, hey, affection in public. Do you mind your man slapping your butt in public or grabbing your butt in public? Like, you know, is this a, this is like a why or why not? And there were so many years. Is it okay for your man to grab your butt in public? Who is it again? Derek, Derek Jackson. Jackson. Derek Jackson. That's what he put up. Is it okay for your man to grab your butt in public? The amount of hell knows was, astronom was astronomical. The amount of hell knows was astronomical. I was, I was like, why? Like, we are very affectionate. In, in private and public. And look i got no problem i'm grabbing i'm grabbing my wife but everywhere we he go he grabs me everywhere and he comes up behind me and he'll whisper in my yeah, ear i've gotten looked at like i was a uh creeper and because I'll of be it, about, yeah I, he slapped my ass yeah i get behind it sometimes i look it's probably whatever but i'm behind the clothes in walmart just to <laughs> be creepy to her it's like you what are you doing just to talk creepy to her and then walk up behind and grab and her I butt. Love it. but no seriously but <laughs> It is kind of funny. I uh, think it about so it. It is much. kind of funny. She loves it, but you know that's the thing. You know when it when it comes down to it, why? Why do you have a problem with your man saying he is well, in love with you and affectionate towards you, no matter who the hell's around? So with him, it's a you know I want you to know I want you no matter what. I mm -hmm. love you no matter what. I love you no matter where we are, and I want you to know I'm thinking about you, mm -hmm. and you're sexy to me, and I want you to feel good. So, but what women are saying is that it makes them feel like property or that, yeah. you know, I'm not your property. I never feel like I'm his property. Yeah. But when it, and let's see, and, and look, I'm, I love it that someone's chasing right. me. I think well, I try to look at it. Is chasing I try me. to look at it from different standpoints. Like, yeah. Hey, I don't want to feel like property. Don't, don't think you can slap my butt whenever you want. Okay. So if I ignore you and, but they do the same thing as far as holding hands, there are some that they don't want no affection in, in 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 public nice. hey i got a ring on you got a ring on that's good enough yeah okay mm -hmm. so no but that but not right there so here's what here's the problem when it comes to that not saying that every man would do it or every woman would do it but a person gets tired of not feeling like hey you love me even in public then it's like what do they start doing they start looking around elsewhere while they're in public you know what i'm saying not paying attention not paying attention to you while you're in public Yes, and then you start asking the wrong questions. Now you got all this other stuff that didn't happen, all because you're not okay with getting affection in public. Well, and it's just as simple as you putting your arm around Something me. as simple as that. Especially if I don't feel good or mm -hmm. I don't feel pretty that day. Ladies, you hear me. There's days we just, our yeah. hair's not right. Our nose isn't right. Everything's mm -hmm. not right. And he'll just put his arm around me at a store mm -hmm. or bring me close, you know, to him or, yeah. you know, that's the kind of stuff because it makes me feel good, not because he thinks someone's looking at me or because I'm his property. Yeah, that, it's because he wants me to feel better and he wants me to know that he's thinking about exactly. me. Exactly. So, it, it like I said, the amount of negativity I mean, that came just with how Justin, I feel about it though. That came with just him asking that question. Yeah. The amount of like, uh, uh, nope, never, nope, you better not ever. Put, I'm like, mm. and like, because you can feel the bitterness in the responses. You can feel it. I'm like, hmm. Okay, I feel like a lot of them responding to single, but um, you know, I'm just, that's just me. But you know, we we're but not relationship their gurus. Their opinion is their opinion. Their mm -hmm. body is their body, mm -hmm. and if that's how they feel, that's how they feel, and that's right for them. Just like we're saying about taking advice, it's about what yeah. you're comfortable with. And that's what you true. Want. You know, you know, you're right. I can't I'm say saying that. Saying that they don't like their ass slap. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Well, I can't. I can't say that. Then that's not. I, yeah. You're right because not everybody is an affectionate person. No. And however, if they're at if they got the ring on or if they don't, they should be at a point in a, in a relationship that they've communicated that and like, hey, look, I don't like when you do this. Well, and I think some women attribute it to like, you know, slap on the ass. Hey, will you go make me a sandwich? That's not what he's doing to no, me. No, no. So. I mean, but I mean. Usually he's slapping me on the ass going, baby, what can I make you? Yeah. And so. What can I do for yeah, you? Yeah. So there's nothing. I don't. <laughs> But I also giggle when he does it. That's true, too. I'm like a Pillsbury Doughboy, yeah. except you slap my butt and I giggle. <laughs> I just don't. Because don't stick your freaking finger in my belly butt. <laughs> then we're going to throw down. That's where I feel I think disrespected. You, I, think you, I think you really went left there. That was not I'm just going saying. <laughs> <laughs> You've never tried it. Never I've never been, says, you were way left there. Like, I, I, I'm the Relationships. Relationships. <laughs> <laughs> relationships that's where we're headed <laughs> so that's, that's, uh, but 
<laughs> so, but, yeah. So, yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> but no, seriously, um, if you guys can't show at least express love in in one way, shape, or form, especially in public, I think that that's something that you know maybe take a look at. Yeah. Relationship gurus, what is your final say on it? Do they help or hinder? If you had to choose one, help or hinder? Hinder. Really? Oh yeah. I'm gonna go with help. I'm gonna go with hinder because people don't self-evaluate. They don't. Mm. They don't mm. look at themselves. Mm. Therefore, it hinders yeah. the advice that comes in. Hinders. And I and I, I, I guess I, I I want to believe more. Of, I want to put more optimism toward it. But you know, at the same time, it's like ah, it's a tough one. Yeah, it's a tough one. But I'm gonna go with they. They more so will help than hinder in my opinion, and she goes with hindered and help. But as with most things, she's probably right on this one. But still. <laughs> I don't think there's a right or wrong. I don't, yeah, I don't either. It, it all depends on the situation. But anyway, hey, that's our story, and we sticking to it. Damn right. Yeah, so relationships is what it boils down to. There's no, the reality is there's no guru. There's no perfect equation to making your relationship, Every relationship work. Every relationship is, is different. The important thing is that, number one, there's not three things. It's one thing, communicate. Because even if you're like, hey, do you like God like I do? Guess what? You're communicating that. Yep. Hey, do you like affection like I do? Guess what? You're communicating that. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's about communication. Or even, I mean, down to I don't like it when. I don't like it when. It's all about the communication. Use I statements. Yep. And Use so. Use I statements. <laughs> there, there you go. It's less threatening. Absolutely. So. Hey, what's on your mind? So you guys know where you can find us. OpenC.io slash DMWatch. That's where y'all find our NFTs. DMWatchPodcast.com. You guys know you can find our videos there, all the streaming services, Doze, AMC, Sheba, and Saitama. Just like we said in the beginning, be on the lookout, not financial advisors. But guys, definitely take a look at those things. You know what I mean? At, in this day and age, it it's definitely will benefit you to educate yourself on everything else. Yes. So, all right, signing off for this portion of DMY's podcast. This portion. You did. Sign off for DMY's podcast. I am Davey. I am Missy. <laughs> you got what I was I thought, I thought, yeah, okay, you got it. Anyway, we are DM Watt. We'll catch you guys later. See you guys next time.